I mean, it's a lot y'all don't even know, right? You don't even know. Swipey, yeah, he was a good dude, right? Prior to Swipey getting killed, do y'all know that Swipey got robbed? What's up with a no winner? The Swipey manager gets on live and was explaining the whole Swipey situation. It's a lot of new documentaries on YouTube and stuff rehashing the whole Swipey situation and how he was killed. And he get on live and explain it. No weather. Who got him to the, the toll? Man, it's a lot y'all don't even know. Right? You don't even know. Swipey, yeah, he was a good dude. Right? Prior to Swipey getting killed. Do y'all know that Swipey got robbed uptown Rig Street? The man, listen, the man got robbed. He was over somebody's house. I'm asleep. He calls me about two in the morning. Bruh, I said, what's up, Swipey? He said, man, I just got robbed. I said, what? Prior to that, I had told him we just did a video. He got paid $2,000 for a video. I said, Swipey, what you need to do, Slim, stop walking around with all that money, right? You need to get a debit card. So go back to what I was asleep. He called me. He said, man, I just got robbed. I said, how you get robbed? He said, man, I was up such 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 person house. I ain't going to call their name, right? And I was catching an Uber. I said, so you stood outside at night by yourself? He said, yeah. I said, what they take? He said, they took the money, the phone, the watch, and my belt. I said, oh, Slim, you got set up. How they know you had the money? I immediately, right, got up and went and got him. That was the first thing. Right? Never once, never once did he ever think of an inclination that, you know what? Man, there's a lot of people, man, haters back door want your spot. All right, so what that guy do with the whole back door allegation? Like you kind of deflecting a little bit. My bad, homie. What? All right, so yeah, what you mean by that? The whole point of everybody coming over here was to hear that you know you ain't back door story. You went upstairs for like an hour and a half. What? You know, I'm sorry if I'm exact. I want to look for, yeah, I, I want to, you. look, okay, go ahead, hit me out, hit me out, hit me out, you know I'm an old man, so I gotta, I gotta go get two pair of glasses, so I got a big old house, and I don't know where they were, so what I had to do was run around the house, so my wife don't wake her up, get mad to look for them, come to find out, they in the car, so I could be able to see the, see the comments, I can't see the comments because it's a distance. But getting back to what you're saying is that if I were to backdoor him, I voluntarily went to the police, right? Voluntarily. So now when they get my phone, they got it, huh? You can have my phone. What they did was they found out, you know what? You was getting calls. And I was like, look, I get calls all the time. People threatened, saying they're going to do something to Swipey and everything. I, I explained it to them. Now, you know that them boys, they will be on you. They got everything. So here I am. Why wasn't I locked up? You know why? Because I was in the feds for money laundering. Right? So when Aunt said something about, I put a motion in to suppress something don't believe the hype slim and like Allah says it's not a religion thing man this internet this world is nothing but an illusion never once i wish tony reds was alive because he was stamping like man look we all knew that we was going up new york 
see Def Jam on Thursday. Hey, I got, I got Thursday. one question so for you. So why would I want to do Don't that? take this wrong when I ask you this. Go ahead. Did you have a life insurance policy on Swipey? Go ahead, man. No. And you know what? I learned the business. After that happened, somebody told me, said, man, anytime you get something, like my daddy, I got purse, cost 1500 Son, get a life insurance. I was green. Swipey was my first artist. I treated him like a son. I did everything for him. I wanted that boy to win. Met my mother, took him everywhere I go. You know what, Swipey? Swipey ain't never been no. I took him to Atlanta. I took him everywhere. I'm the one who did that. I ain't had no life insurance on policy. I don't need that slim. You know why? I ain't got to backdoor nobody. Number one is, Allah blessed me with a record label. Number two is, so we never had a fallout or a beef or none of that. Swipey came to me. When Swipey was broke, he called me because he hungry. Wallahi, I had my wife to fix me something and drive and take it to him. And that's a bet. Quick question, mm. did Swipey have a driver's license as well? Nah, I kept pressing him. I kept saying, Swipey, man, he didn't want to do it. You can't make somebody, man. If he would have listened to me, I mean, one time we was in Atlanta. I kept him in Atlanta. Why would I do something to him? I got him, I got him features doing what Zay told me. He in the jungle. They told me. I had him down there with the amigos. Right? I had him with the amigos, they told me. I had him with um what's the name name, the fat boy name, the uh, Jazzy Faye, right? Man, I did man, man, I could tell there's so many stories I could tell, man, that I wanted that boy win. One time, this is where Agent Bronner was fighting in DC. I'm in the house with my wife watching TV. Lord Dirk called me. I answered. He FaceTiming me. Boom. He said, what's up? I said, what's up? I said, ain't hey, no in the house, man. He said, man, you, you, ain't, you ain't going to the fight? I said, no. He said, I'm in the city. I said, what? He ain't going to the fight, man. I'm in the, I'm in the hotel with Dej Loaf. He flashed the joint, showed me Dej Loaf. He said, you come? I said, Slim, man, I got a family. You can't just be popping up on me like that. I thought about Swipey. I said, man, you know what? Let me get Swipey there with him. I went and got him. Swipey was in the back room with Dave Lowe, designer, Lord Dirt, and Asia Bonner, right there. I'm standing outside the door because that stuff don't really phase me. But I was doing it for him because I wanted him to win. I seen that he was like me, intelligent, going to school, but street smarts too. See, I'm both. So when I seen that video with Ann, I ain't got no beef with Ann or none of that type of stuff. I just wanted to dress it and say, man, can you Give me an interview so that way you can have a part two. So ah, can... See, see, this is where it kind of sound kind of fucked up because to be allegedly accused of backdoor swipe, you see, I'm not choosing size on this one because mm -hmm. I know this is not like a sensitive topic, but to be accused of backdoor swipey and then to not deny saying that you did it. But to ask for an interview was kind of, you know, it kind of sound fucked up a little bit. No, because I'm saying is if you put one, it's like when you go to courts, man, the judge is not going to hear just the defendant. What do the judge do? He gets the defendant and the prosecutor, right? And he's there. You can't hear no, you can't try nobody without you got both parties, right? And if you go to the Bible, that's how King Solomon and them did, right? You can't, I'm just on truth and principles. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going off of no, no theory conspiracy theory or none of that i'm just going off principles what's supposed to be done i ain't make the law i'm just trying to go by so when a person spits something out that's like if you got a girl and your girlfriend or whatever go say something bad about you right don't you want to speak so you could be able to exonerate yourself and clear that up yeah but I ain't gonna lie it's just tough like bro i don't know if it's because like, no, i'm just old head or like whatever but it's just like your reaction, like you got like you emotionless with this shit. Like, you know, 
it's one thing to say like you know yeah that's like my son no. you know i love him very dearly but it's y'all like your face is just saying like you know just another day in the ghetto type shit no nah, you can see see you gotta remember you you y'all cut from a different cloth right and see when you become muslim right it says in order to deal with reality to have a healthy state of mind you got to accept reality for what it is if you don't accept reality for what it is you're not going to have a healthy state of mind so this is the reason why people be stressing because they don't want to they go to drugs drink a coffee because what they can take that stress away and then reality sets back in. older right as the older you get your fire inside of you go down but you gonna understand this right when you get older you you're not gonna really be talking real fast all the time when you get about 40 45 you ain't gonna be talking fast well i don't know if you talk how it is you know and then you got to look at just don't look at me from just looking at me here you gotta look from where i've been right 20 years old in the feds penitentiary and everything right and then you don't have no emotions you got to suppress that completely suppress depress regress all of that so you gotta you you understand what i'm saying you gotta that's how it is and that's the wisdom that still shopping still so i could be grooming you and teaching you that's all man but never did i want to do something to my man right i wanted him to win and that's just what it is but i just didn't i just wanted to address that like from my era of time, we don't say nothing, man, unless it's a proven fact. Like if it's in the feds, you can't call a nigga hot unless you got some paperwork, right? Or you can't call a nigga a fag unless you know you seen that nigga doing that because what? You got to stand on truth. You're right about that. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason I said, why. This shit you see what I'm saying? But if you go back to, if you look at all Ant videos or whatever he do, it's all hypothesis, not just mine, but just look at everybody's, right? It's just God. You understand what I'm saying? That's what men I, do. I, I can't say that though, because it's just like, I ain't going to hold, because this is like one of them situations where you can't even say too much though. Cause like, say he do got some facts, but the shit y'all like incriminate, and then it'd be y'all like hot that y'all like say too. But I don't know, bro. It's, I ain't telling nothing to the police. Bone, like now. To say somebody back door, <laughs> like ain't nobody. Yeah, that's it. You know what I mean? You can't say that, man. And that's another thing too. Like Swipey got a lot of love around DC, Maryland, and yeah, Virginia. You feel me, like? And like I ain't exactly. gonna ask why he wasn't even one of them type of niggas that y'all like be caught up in some shit for real, for real. Exactly. It was internet. Internet beefs. No, no, he wasn't perfect on the internet either though. Like I ain't well, gonna go only thing Swipey was doing was posting go... being flying shit. No, Slam, you looking at his IG. Go back to his Twitter. You gotta look at his Twitter. That's where all the beef was. See, I know. Go to his Twitter. His Twitter. That's where the, you know, like like right now, you know, I my face, your face. What men do, you I can't see I, you, but I'm talking to you. <laughs> you I see what I'm saying? Step in this bitch and I'm ready to work. No well yeah, that shit on my shirt.